Young black man skirt up in the scat pack Slid on the ops gun was clapping like a fat ass Young derby going up like the Nasdaq Yeah, smoking on that crack pack Big tech treating Gen Z like lab rats uh. People always discriminating against me cause I'm black Still remember when the Twin Towers fell, that was so whack Yeah Dude, bag, baby that might get claimed. The beat might get claimed. Just in case you didn't hear my bars at the beginning of this video, it's because the beat was a trap remix of uh, Teenage Dirtbag by Wheatus. <clears throat> and it might not fly. So, you know, I feel sorry for you. You couldn't hear my exuberant, extravagant, uh, you know, lyrical mastermind bars, but... Whatever, you'll have to live with it. Now, Asians. Asians. Great. You know, top three ethnic groups. I love Asians. I'm a big fan. And this is coming from a black guy. But you know who's accused of not loving Asians? Asian women. Themselves. People are saying they're kind of, you know deferring dating Asian men. They don't have a preference for Asian men. They like going after white guys. Is this true? Science tells us that generally people have an in-group preference, meaning they like to date within their own race. <clears throat> but mm, there are certain scholars, truly, intellectuals of the highest regard of the black pill school of thought that say Asian women uh, are the exception in this regard. They don't like Asian guys. They're saying, they're saying, fuck you, Chow Zhang. They're saying, bye bye, Hiru Soto. I'm gonna go shack up with Zachary McDuff. I'm gonna go mess with Jimmy Donaldson. It's like, damn, shoddy. Do your ancestors mean nothing to you? <laughs> Pretty messed up. Now, <laughs> but is this true? Now we do know that white guys definitely like Asian girls. A lot of white guys openly, openly yearning for some oriental, you know. It's really no secret. Asian girls are the most preferred on dating apps. They get the most likes. Above white women, above Latinas, above all of them. You know, to the degree that dating app data is relevant. But that's something. And I mean, it's out in the open now. These guys are flying across the damn go globe, for goodness sake. Going, uh, konnichiwa, ladies. Making a fool of themselves. Hey, I wanted the pussy. Cut it out. Cut it out, brother. These white-ass crackers going crazy, man. Uh, but is this true? Is this whole, you know, the great Asian rebellion? <laughs> uh, these white guys definitely have the Asian persuasion, but... Is the you know is it as stark as the black pillars make us believe? Let's let's investigate. Now I'm going to look at America here because America is the largest country with the largest population that is diverse. So we can look at interracial dynamics and dating. And we get the highest sample size, and we get the highest sample size specifically when we look at census data of marriages, because they're able to track marriages. They're all registered in a database, unlike relationships, which are frantic and, you know, quite chaotic nowadays, as you may know. <clears throat> but first, let's go over the demographics of America. So there are 20 million Asians in the USA. Five million of those are Indian, by the way, which seem to be kind of exempt from this conversation. When we talk about Asian girls and white guys, I don't know. I don't really think about a Indians. They're just kind of doing their own thing. Um, generally, when we talk about Asia, Asians, uh, we're not really talking about the Middle East or the Indian subcontinent, even though they're technically part of Asia. We're talking about East Asia. We're talking about China, Japan, Korea, Vietnam, the Philippines, etc. So, you know, just wanted to point that out. 20 million Asians, 5 million of them Indian. <clears throat> there are over 200 million white people. So this means that uh, there are like over 10 white guys for every Asian girl. 
even in the younger age bra- uh, younger age brackets where there would be less white people, more Asians, uh, supposedly. There's over 10 white guys for every Asian girl, so maybe what we're seeing is not necessarily a, a preference for white men, but just, you know, we live in an enlightened society. There's no stigma about interracial dating or interracial marriage. People just fall in love who fall in love with who they fall in love with. And since white guys outnumber Asian girls, maybe that's it. So what to, to, to really glean the truth, we have to compare them to other interracial marriages, or we're going to look at marriages here, but couples in general. We can use it as a, you know, a proxy for couples in general. <clears throat> um, with their demographics in mind, so let me read out the other demographics. Uh, 20 million Asians, as I said. There are 70 million Hispanics and almost 50 million black people. I'm reading these uh, so now we can get into the marriage statistics. So white male, Asian female, interracial marriages are one-fourth, a quarter of all interracial marriages. Despite Asian women being only 8% of married women uh, in America, it that's already disproportionately large. Already doesn't make a lot of sense. They That outnumbers white male, black female, black male, white female interracial marriages put together. <clears throat> Not only that, but it outnumbers Asian male, white female, the flip-flop, it outnumbers Asian male, white female interracial marriages by four times. Pretty crazy. Pretty wild. You don't see that with any other group. Now, because the number one interracial marriage in America isn't uh, white male, Asian, female. It's, <clears throat> well, it's generally whites and Hispanics. It's uh, white male, Hispanic, female, or Hispanic male, white, female. Which, by the way, are equal. They're, they're pretty equal. They, you know, both flip-flops of the genders get married equally to each other. Number one. And number two, uh, Hispanic, it's a little tricky because they're not technically a major ethnic group that are uniform. They're, they're quite different. I think it's the mestizo. A lot of them are damn near white themselves. <clears throat> so we have to keep that in mind. But yeah, we're not seeing this thing where like Latinas only like white guys. Like That's not happening. And also in general, white women are the least likely to get interracially married when you consider their uh, <clears throat> their large demographic they're the largest demographic core of America so what we're seeing here unfortunately <clears throat> this is pretty damning evidence it's real now it might not be as extreme as black pillars would make us believe you know they have like these videos if you if you look at these black pill videos, they're like it's just like cherry picking TikToks of Asian girls going, "I love white guys, I hate Asian guys, white men." Ugh. I mean, it's like whatever. I don't see that as actual evidence, but this is. I mean, we have millions of interracial marriages, and we look at it, and it's pretty bad. <laughs> That's not great, man. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I thought K-pop, this is pretty recent data, I thought K-pop would do something to help y'all for real. Because that's a big thing, and that's, I mean, lots of guys, you know, you K-pop, Max. You're right in, baby. <clears throat> and also, I mean, it does seem to be real. And also, in my experience, as a, I'm not a black man, let me drop the facade. I'm not a black man. You know, I, I took the DNA test. I was actually, hold, a part of me was holding out for some black or some oriental. Nope. Completely descended from the British Isles. Uh, it is what it is, man. Just a 100% Saxon. Uh, my experience as a very white individual in America is that I have gotten, let's say, you know, I've gotten attention from Asian girls that exceeds attention from any other you know, from Latinas or black girls or any other group, and it rivals or possibly exceeds the attention I've got from white girls, both from both digitally and in real life. 
Very limited, by the way. Very limited, okay? I have a very small cock. I'm insecure. Um, don't worry about me. So we have to ask the question, why? Uh, look, look it's, it's not like Asian female, white male marriages outnumber Asian on Asian. Okay, so it's not that crazy. But it's still significant. It's still disproportionately large. It's still pretty brutal, and, and we do have to ask why. I've noticed it. We all see it. And Asian, you know, uh, Asian girls, I've seen these, like, they say stuff like, it, he reminds me of my brother when I date Asian guys. It's like, that is so, I'm not even Asian and that pisses me off. That's like r such a ridiculous, do you see, do you hear any other, do you hear white girls saying that about white guys or black girls saying that about black guys? It's, it's so ridiculous. That's so obnoxious, man. If I was Asian, I'd be so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Not because, you know, being, I wouldn't like being Asian in itself, you know, I wish I was Asian. But just because of the things that women are saying, okay? <clears throat> but we have to ask the question, why? Why is this happening to Asian guys? Uh, many people have a sort of a cultural explanation. They will say, because we are in America, or we are in these Western countries, we have Eurocentric beauty standards. And our media also reflects these beauty standards. There's a socialized cultural element to who we find attractive. Also a, a degree to where maybe Asian men are sort of emasculated in the media. But I mean, the media, the thing about the media is people can blame it all on Hollywood or this kind of thing, but is it that these things are purely created by the media or they, they are reflected in the media because it does seem to be an Asian trait. See, this is just getting crazy. I've had to pause this way too many times, but I, do, okay, I'll let me go. Let me just spit. Let me cook. Let me cook. I'm just a young black man in America and I'm just going to talk. Okay. <clears throat> it does seem to be an Asian trait to be more, you know, less aggressive. They're not they don't really be getting in fights or doing that kind of shit. I mean, Chinese history is kind of crazy. I don't know. It'll be like Gong Mao killed 60 million on the f bridge. Uh, but besides that, I mean, y'all seem pretty chill. Height, for example. Lots of people are like, oh, we like tall guys because we always see in the movies like girls looking up at tall guys. I think this is kind of a cope because that just reflects the reality that girls already kind of like tall guys. It's a biological yearning, <clears throat> right? Being tall as a man is, is generally considered attractive. Um, so we kind of, we're, we're kind of looking at an underlying reality here, and this is uncomfortable to talk about, of course, but white men tend to be taller, um, I mean, maybe maybe this is changing a little bit. I've not I've noticed a little something where it's like the Asians they get down the generations in in these Western countries and they eat these Western diet like full of milk and all this hormone like fat shit. <clears throat> and these Asian guys are getting kind of tall, bro. It might be it might have a lot to do with the diet. I ain't gonna lie. I'll, I'll be getting height mogged by like. Um, by a, by Changs, which are the Asian equivalents of Chads, if you weren't on incel forums in 2018, like my lonely ass was. <clears throat> so yeah, you get height mogged by a rice cell. Then it's really time to rope max. All this is shit is such brain rot. Anyways, we're kind of we're kind of looking at an underlying reality where women find white men more attractive. Is this cultural? Is this biological? It's pretty hard to tease out, but we can kind of say it's maybe a mixture of both. I'm not going to say there's no cultural, um, there's no cultural component to attractiveness. Just like I'm not going to say that there's no biological or sort of genetic objective component. If we settle for like an explanation of both, it still is curious why. It seems to be Asian women in particular liking white guys. No other ethnic group. They, they, they have an in-group preference. Asian people 
also, both foreign and domestic, seem to ascribe a sort of status in that in white people or dating a white person that other ethnic groups in America don't. You know, like the you know, there's like a they just like us. So that would explain why Asian women in particular are going after white guys, but also Asian men, they may not they might not prefer Asian men as much as other races prefer their own men in these Western countries. <clears throat> Possibly because, you know, I, let me just stop being a bit. Let me just say it straight. They seem maybe emasculated in these Western countries, possibly because they're less tall and because they might be less assertive. And like, this isn't a bad thing. I think there's this degree where in, in Western civilization where the women are becoming more masculine and it requires this sort of hyper masculinity now, super aggressive nature uh, to sort of counteract that and make it work, maybe. Just, just a few running hypotheses for why this is going on. Generally, it's a, it's a cocktail of cultural and biological factors. It's a failure of, of modern dating, and this is kind of like a particularly brutal sort of aspect of it. But, I mean, in general, a lot of Asian people still marry each other. It's, it, 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 that goes away. You know, these are, these are in communities that are more insular. Um, that goes away whenever these people become pretty much completely westernized and they're just out there, they're sent off college, the college, they're away from all their communities. And I think in this case, it might be specifically brutal for Asian men in the West. Um, because then, you know, they, they, they lose this group that, you know, when they don't really have a group, then this in-group preference goes away. There, there, maybe there's just something about these Asian guys that, you know, it's not actually any lesser fundamentally at all, but it's just something about them. It, it doesn't work in competing in this Western market. Generally, what I think is happening is that postmodern dating is quite dysfunctional, and what it reflects is a return to the base, to the primitive. Um, you know, the, da the dating structures of old kind of kept in mind a, a primitive base, not very flattering human nature. Now we have this idea where people are pure. There's this like fake morality or fairness ascribed to human sexual behavior that basically isn't there. And things that should be valued aren't valued anymore. That's it, man. Comment below why you think this is happening. That's kind of the thing I'm struggling with. I feel like I, I came up with a few little answers here and there, but I'd like to hear your thoughts anyway. anyway. Um, peace out.